Howdy folks. Hope y'all been doing well. Oh, Alright, well, um, last week I uh, posted a video about uh, doing a test for one week person. For one person for one week, utilizing this uh, long-term food survival package by August and Farms. So, uh, let me report on it. I also have a couple of videos that I did early in the week that I will insert in this one. Um, first of all, uh, the food was tasty. I can say that. I have also I have this one left over <laughs> about that. So I had plenty of food. I did add those packets of protein, different types. Um, spam, tuna, and salmon. Uh, one day, Thursday, I was feeling a little peaked, so I did have an extra pack of uh, protein meat, so I added it to that day. Plus, I think I might have been a little dehydrated, so I paid more attention to my water intake. And uh, overall, it, it worked out fine. I was feeling better by the end of the day, and the next day, just like normal me. All right, so I had one package of chicken, uh, creamy chicken flavored rice left over, and this is good till January 23rd, 2044. So this is still going into the long-term food storage. Um, this worked well. Uh, like I said, all the food is tasty. Um, I had to uh, store after I cooked it the direction that we're cooking or, or the whole package on most things. The oatmeal I could uh, dole out one day at a time and the pancakes I could dole out one meal at a time. Um, by the way, pancakes, if you make them into two and put a piece of Spam between them, make kind of a pancake Spam sandwich work well. Um, so, um, one week for $30, yeah, yeah, one week for $30, it worked well. I'm sure there's other ways to do that without using long-term storage, you could probably do cheaper. Um, and uh, uh, this is just an experiment. <clears throat> um, uh, also, on Friday, during that period of time, you know, see I went from Monday through Sunday, last Monday to yesterday, Sunday. So I was away, but on Friday was my no digital technology day. Uh, I read this book, or started this book. It seems to be a very good book, it's interesting. I recommend it, especially if uh, you're a conspiracy person, you will like this. Also, <clears throat> If you're a New World Order conspiracy person, pay attention to the subtopic. I'll put it in the description as well. Um, so, let's see here. Is there anything in here I want to go over? Probably not. So, I won't. I saved all those just in case, uh, <coughs> but I'm not going to. I have videos on some of the items, like I said, that I'll insert in this video. Okay. This is the maple brown sugar oatmeal. Directions say use a quarter cup. I'm using half a cup. There's ten servings in here at a quarter cup, so anyway, that's what it looks like in the bag. Looks like regular oatmeal, huh? And that's a half a cup in the measuring cup. Four ounces. All right. Pour it in here. I'm gonna do it like I do a regular oatmeal. I'm gonna microwave it. Um, I always use a two-to-one mixture on oatmeal and the water. So I'm putting a cup of water in there. I'm gonna microwave it for a couple of minutes or so. Okay. So now I'm gonna close up this bag here. I'm gonna use this binder clip. 
I'm probably gonna put it in a Ziploc bag. All right, I have it in a one quart flat bottom, pleated bottom Ziploc bag. Um, I would recommend it <clears throat> if one person doing this uh, for a weekly food allowge to incorporate Ziploc bags and some kind of binder clip into their food storage. Okay, that's what it looks like cooked. It needs more water. Or milk. I don't have any milk. I need to add more water. I added a cup of water, a half a cup of oatmeal, and it's really gummy. I'm not a real fan of gummy oatmeal. <laughs> Okay, I'm having buttermilk pancakes for lunch. I'm going to do a regular serving of one third cup of mix and a quarter cup of water. And uh, I'm adding a slice of spam to it too. Slice of spam. Together that should be about, okay, that's 11 grams of protein, and this is 4 grams, so that's going to be about 15 grams of protein. This one has a resealable packet. How about that? It should all have that. That way I don't have to put it in a bag. Alright, <clears throat> I couldn't close that packet, even though it has a built-in zipper thing. So I had to use a clip, and I'll put it in a bag, just like my other. But I won't be contaminating the bag, per se. Here's what my second pancake looks like on uh, one side. Here's the first pancake. And my slice of spam, which I zap, not zap, heated up in the one to skillet as well. I did that first. And I have enough for one more pancake, so three pancakes it is. Well, that's the last of the three pancakes. It's smaller than the other two, but four inch pancake? Nah. There you go. Um, I'm not using any butter, margarine, or syrup, or honey, or anything, because it didn't come in a package of the box, the container. So we'll go in like it is this week, and next time we try this, we'll probably have other things to add to it. Alright, well, it looks kind of dry. We'll see. Well, they're not as good as Aunt Jemima's, but they're okay. Alright, cheesy rice, macaroni and cheese, so I'm having for supper. <clears throat> Monday, I started today, <clears throat> I could only eat half of my certain that I put there, and the cheesy rice, and also the macaroni and cheese, so I'm going to cover that up, <clears throat> and put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow, anyway, um, there you go, alright, this Guys, is day two, get help are um, this is the oatmeal, and it's we'll Tuesday by the way, April 2nd, this is the oatmeal uh, today, compared to yesterday, Oatmeal today compared to yesterday is all uh, thick and gummy. I uh, put a, about a quarter cup more water and microwave it at about 30 seconds less. Much better. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you very much.